Hi guys, I'm Dr. Amy from Great Lakes Health and Wellness here in Westlake, Ohio. Lydia visited us a few uh, weeks ago with some low back pain, also some digestive issues, and also tension headaches running up the, uh, up the neck and then causing discomfort and headaches at the base of her skull. So we did a four view cervical study to make sure that the neck was healthy and safe to be adjusted. So for Lydia, we're gonna get her adjusted. This adjustment, you may hear some popping and cracking also going to do another side posture but for a different area of uh, the pelvis. And we're going to finish with what we call an anterior adjustment for the lower thoracic spine. She's subluxated and rotated here on the lower left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, lean her to the right and put a little bit of pressure to the lower neck. She's also misaligned laterally here at C1. That's one of the most common segments to be misaligned that's correlated to things like headaches, migraines, sinus issues, TMJ problems. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get that adjusted and we're gonna rotate this way. And then a nice big stretch and that's it. Lydia visited us a few uh, weeks ago with some low back pain, also some digestive issues. She works on her feet all day. She's a very active job and she loves to run and work out. So she came to us to help figure out why she was having low back issues without any major trauma. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly what we're doing to check her out. So here, Lydia has um, what we call two sacroiliac joints running diagonal through the butt. When those joints get locked up, they can cause a lot of low back and pelvic and hip pain. And sometimes that can also cause one of the most common things we see here at Great Lakes Health and Wellness, which is sciatic pain. So I'm gonna feed into these joints and determine whether they are subluxated or whether they're misaligned. And yes, Lydia is very subluxated here on the left as well as on the right. Her right ilium has fallen backwards, which is why the leg is appearing shorter. I'm now gonna assess the sacrum. The sacrum is very commonly misaligned in women because of the way we're des designed in the hips and the pelvis. And I'm also gonna come up to the lumbar spine here. And I am feeling some rotation down here at L4 and L5. She also has quite a bit of spasm in the left QL muscle, which is telling me that low back is in protective mode right now. It's very fragile. Lydia also presented with some digestive issues, um, kind of undiagnosed digestive issues. And when we take a peek at the low back, we always correlate those nerves to the gut and to the stomach and to the colon, because those nerves do control um, things like motility, constipation, diarrhea, all those types of things. So for Lydia, we're gonna get her adjusted. We did do a four view motion study x-ray with our digital x-ray to determine what adjustments needed to be done and which areas were moving sufficiently. Next, we're doing a side posture adjustment to get the rotation out of L4 and L5. This adjustment, you may hear some popping and cracking. Beautiful. We're also gonna do another side posture, but for a different area of uh, the pelvis. To your back. And we're gonna finish with what we call an anterior adjustment for the lower thoracic spine. Lydia presented with a lot of um, trapezius tightness and also tension headaches running up the, uh, up the neck and then causing discomfort and headaches at the base of her skull. So we did a four view cervical study to make sure that the neck was healthy and safe to be adjusted. Most importantly, those digital x-rays will tell us where the subluxations are or those misalignments in the spine that need to be adjusted. That way we're adjusting the right segments and not making somebody hypermobile. One of the most common fears of people is the cervical adjustment, but believe it or not, it is an extremely safe adjustment to do as long as the neck is healthy and safe to be adjusted. And that's why we do a very intensive consultation exam and the digital x-rays before we do any adjusting here at Great Lakes Health and Wellness. The first thing I'm gonna do is palpate the spine and the musculature to see where she's most locked up. That way I can correlate it to the x-rays we took. And she's subluxated and rotated here on the lower left side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, lean her to the right and put a little bit of pressure to the lower neck. 
That was a beautiful adjustment. She's also misaligned laterally here at C1. That's one of the most common segments to be misaligned that's correlated to things like headaches, migraines, sinus issues, TMJ problems. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get that adjusted and we're gonna rotate this way. And then a nice big stretch. And that's it.